Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about solid figures. Solid figures are three-dimensional objects, meaning they have length, width, and height. Because they have three dimensions, they have depth and take up space in our universe. Solid figures are identified according to the features that are unique to each type of solid. For that, I'll be discussing for the entire video the different kinds of solid figures, namely cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Let us have the cube here. These are some examples of cube that we can see around us. A cube is a three-dimensional solid object bounded by six square faces, facets, or sides with three bidding at each vertex. Let's count the number of edges. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There are a total of twelve edges. This time, let's count the number of vertices. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There are eight vertices. How about the faces? Let's try to count the number of faces that we have here. And that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is front, back, right, left, top, and bottom. We have all in all six faces. Let us now have the prism. Yes, we have different kinds of prism there. We have triangular prism, square prism, rectangular prism, pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism, and octagonal prism. What are prisms? A prism is a three-dimensional shape with two identical shapes facing each other. And these identical faces are called bases. The bases can be a triangle, a square, rectangle, or any other polygon. Have you seen a prism around you before? Okay, let's see some examples of prism. They look familiar, right? This is an example of a square prism. It is a three-dimensional shape cuboid figure whose bases are squares. Let us count the number of edges. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There are a total of 12 edges. The opposite sides and angles are congruent to each other. In the given figure, the bases of the prisms are square. These are the square bases. We have the one at the top and the one in the bottom. And therefore, it is called a square prism. How many faces do we have here? We have two square bases plus the four rectangular braces. That makes four faces in total. So we already have two. Let's just have this one, this four rectangular faces. The one in the front, the one in the back, the one in the right, and the one in the left. So a total of six faces. This square prism has also vertices. Let's count the number of vertices. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There are a total of eight vertices. Let us move to the next one, and this is a triangular prism. It is a three-dimensional shape made up of two triangular bases and three rectangular sides. This time, let's count the number of edges. That's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have a total of nine edges. And take note, how many faces do we have here? There are two already, two triangular faces. And we have how many faces that are rectangular? There are three rectangular faces. And if you're going to count that, there are a total of five faces. For the vertices, let us count them. There are how many? That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are a total of six vertices. The next one is a rectangular prism. It is a three-dimensional shape which has six faces that are rectangles. But before that, let's count first the number of edges. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There are a total of twelve edges. How about the faces? We have the front, back, right, left, top, and bottom. A total of six rectangular faces. Let's have the vertices. There are the total of eight vertices. We are now done with the prism. Let's move to the pyramid. Have you seen a pyramid? Okay, let's have some examples here. These are some examples of a pyramid. A pyramid is made by connecting a base and an apex. The base is a polygon and all other faces are triangles. Let's have examples. We have here the triangular pyramid pentagonal pyramid and square pyramid and we have the apex at the top of these pyramid if you notice the faces are all triangles let us have now the cylinder these are some examples of cylinder let us take a look at this drawing a cylinder has two parallel circular bases at a distance. We have this base and another base. The two circular bases are joined by the curved surface at a fixed distance from the center. This is our curved surface. And this is our height. The next one is a cone have you seen a cone before okay these are some examples of a cone let's take a look at its features a cone is a three-dimensional shape that narrows smoothly from a flat base usually circular base to a point which forms an axis to the center of the base called the apex Let's try to see where is our base, and this is our circular base, and this is our apex. We also have the sphere. Our Earth is an example of a sphere, and the rest of this sphere are very familiar to all of us. A sphere is a solid that is absolutely round in shape, defined in three-dimensional space. It is defined as the set of points that is at equal distances from a common point in three-dimensional space. This constant distance is called the radius of the sphere. And the common point is the center of the sphere. Now that you know the different solid figures, it is time for you to give an example of each solid figure. The cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Please write your answer in the comment section down below. I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!